This is your six sports report. Good evening, everyone. I'm Iran Hammy, and I think I'm at my fourth Pirate Stadium of the season. Our live game night South Texas featured Mathis and West Oso, and it got a little out of hand for the Bears tonight. Let's roll the tape and show you. Mathis is 3-3. Three and three. The Bears still looking for a win. This is a 3A D1 District 15 matchup. Both teams are fighting for their first win in district play. First quarter, Mathis used their wealth of running back talent to speed down the field, capped off by a 14-yard run from Abram Cuellar, 7-0 Pirates. West Oso turns to the passing game and give Ryan Guerrero credit. He showed his athleticism, dodging defenders all night, but this one's picked off out of the air by Duke Bernal, setting up this. Mathis says, who needs the passing game? Rogelio Montemayor calls his own number and will not be denied. That guy's a freshman. Pushing himself to pay dirt, 15-0 Pirates. Second quarter, Mathis forced the Bears to punt again. And on their first chance, Aaron Acosta sidesteps the defender and says, See ya, I got a reservation for six. And you know, just for the halibut, let's see if the passing game works. Yup, Montemayor with a beauty to Brandon Reed downfield. Mathis pitches a shutout tonight, 65-0. Here is Rogelio Montemayor after the game. Uh, what I like about this offense is that we can move the ball a lot. And we're powerful runners and we can get yards when we need it. And we've got one other game tonight for some Thursday action. And Three Rivers just dominated Fremont 75-7. to They're looking like they're on their way to the playoffs. Now we've got another good one tomorrow night. Rockport Fulton versus Ingleside is our Friday Night Fever game of the week. I'll see you all there. If not, you can catch the highlights and our Thomas J. Henry trophy presentation on the Friday Night Fever. For Chris Six Sports, I'm Iran Hammy.